absorbing stuff on YouTube and the internet as a whole is basically what normies do. And I like to say, I want to elevate my game. I want to become more of an elite internet user. Now, a normie would just get on YouTube like this and look through and go, hey, algorithm, give me something to watch if I want to do some Veritasium, maybe some Brody over here and do some Linux stuff or Linux news with experiments or how parenting changed my life or changed their life. That all sounds interesting, but I'm wasting a lot of time and a lot of these people I don't really subscribe to. So instead, I usually hit my subscriptions feed and usually hit through here and go, hey, is there anything that I'm subscribed to that I really want to watch? And, you know, I, I kind of cull my subscriptions down, but it just depends on what my mood of the day is. And this is not a bad way to do it. It's better than how most people do it with just doing the homepage. Or maybe you're you're more of a tech uh, news person. You're doing like Ars Technica or The Verge. <laughs> All these things, you can usually only do two or three websites before it just kind of overwhelms you and like, ah, forget it. I'm just going to go to some aggregate somewhere and Hopefully they'll give me kind of what I want to know. But at the same time, you're usually relying on an algorithm or someone putting that together. And it would be so much better instead of going to all these independent websites to just do it yourself and absorb the internet and elevate yourself from a normie status to an elite. So let's do that right now. So we're going to start with my favorite website is Pharonix. Uh, it, for technical people, this is a fantastic one. No fluff, no garbage sponsored ads everywhere. Uh, Pharonix does a great job and there's a lot to absorb here. But a lot of times I don't have time to read through all this or if I was just going to pick one website, this is usually what I would pick. Uh, however, I see that they have an RSS feed. Now, RSS is not a new thing. It's actually a very old thing. It's just most people don't use it or they did use it and then RSS kind of... Uh, fell to the wayside because many people started abusing RSS and using it improperly. And I'm not talking about people, but more companies like Ars Technica is a good example of one. I think Bleeping Computer, some other uh, How to Geek, I think has one, but their, their RSS feeds are kind of garbage. So we need to fix that because how I absorb all this stuff is I can just come into here. So if I want to look at fellow YouTubers and go, hey, what's the Linux experiment doing? Okay, and it just gives me the titles of all his videos. If one's in here, I can pick it up and go, okay, I could, I could play this right here, get in there. Okay, that's cool. That's I got an idea what he's doing. Let's say Munduk, I'm, he does some Substack articles and stuff. Sometimes I'll like, oh, anything cool in here? Oh, that's that's neat. I, I can flip through that, kind of see what he's up to. But if there's something in here, I'm like, oh, NVIDIA GPU limiters are broken. That's interesting. Uh, so I might watch that right there. But it, it's a good way of culling my feed, flipping through, obviously, a lot more just on my sidebar here. And I can even expand this out so we have a bit more to look at. So we have this way of absorbing YouTube and even Reddit here, I could actually click this and go, oh, is there anything in here I haven't read? Let's see, oh, a shell plugin that writes your Git commands. I could click on this and see what this is about. Huh. Okay, terminalizer. Oh, that's very interesting. Just adding RSS feeds into whatever you're using. Now you could use Feedly, you could use Google, I think FeedBurner, you have uh, a whole bunch of other ones. I'm using Obsidian with uh, RSS feed plugin because a lot of times when I'm going through my news, which you can see like Pharonix, I already talked about it. Let's say I wanted to go through, oh, there's something about Intel Clear Linux here. I'm looking through, okay, I see that. If I wanted to do an article about this, I could say, hey, let's create a new note. Let's save that out. Uh, and then I can take this and start chopping this up and then saying, okay, I need to make a video about these things. I can omit this. Uh, I could say, oh, okay, let's use his image. I'll obviously give a source for that uh, and then link to the original article up here. So this is a good way for me to actually do some of my production work, but also absorb just crazy amounts of information very, very quickly. But earlier I said something that not all RSS feeds are created equal. You'll see some like Ars Technica. This looks great now. I mean, I can pretty much get their whole article, but <laughs> you'll notice this isn't their RSS feed at all because the regular Ars Technica RSS feed, which let's go ahead and punch it up. 
I actually looked at for Ars Technica feed. It wasn't in here, but usually you can do just like forward slash feed or forward slash RSS to get to it. You can kind of see if it looks something like this, this is actually a good bit of data in there, but there's some RSS feeds that are awful. So when you click into it, see if you can see an image in a good body of text. Usually if there's a bunch of like read more or read the next 11 remaining paragraphs right here. Well, that's telling you that they never give you the entire thing. Here's another one. Read the next 14 remaining paragraphs. That kind of sucks. And you want to expand that out. You can use something called morss.it. And basically what this does is it downloads the entire article for you. Uh, or there's some RSS feeds that are just completely worthless, like bleeping computer. All they're giving you is links. It's just that and this. Just a, a one or two sentences is all they're giving you on their articles. But if we look at what I pulled in for bleeping computer, all right, let's see what we got. Here's Log4J. You'll notice it's the entire article. And how I do this is just by using this Mo RSS feed. So I would just type that in. If you're going to do CNN, Fox News, BBC, whatever news source you're doing, I recommend all three so you get more of a balanced opinion that no one has these days. But you can actually grab these, put them in, and instead of relinking to their website, it downloads the full article into your feeder. So obviously most people aren't going to be using Obsidian. That's just what I use. Uh, you can use whatever you want. And this is how I aggregate the internet so I can actually read the news or, or get the tech news without being lost, not going to YouTube or not going there and me all of a sudden being distracted, having an algorithm pull my view away and me losing an hour of productivity. That's not acceptable. Uh, at least for me, uh, if someone's paying you to do that, then hey, more power to you. But I want to be as productive as possible. And this is how I aggregate things is by using these websites. Now, if you're using this, this is completely free and open source. He actually has a GitHub down here. You can actually grab the source code if you wanted and recreate this. However, I do recommend donate to this person right here. I think it's amazing. You should totally donate if you do use this. Get in here. If you want to uh, increase your productivity, to me, just give him five bucks. I think it's well worth that. And he can help support this site because having these RSS feeds in here increases my productivity. I'm able to stay in my Obsidian, take notes, create videos, whatever it might be at a moment's notice without having to uh, do anything. So it's a really cool way of empowering RSS and not having it suck so much because it's pretty much fallen off in recent years because of companies locking it down. But you can actually unlock it with this little secret. So with that, let me know your thoughts on RSS uh, down below. What feeder do you use? I use obviously Obsidian, Feedly, and, and I think Google has their own RSS reader, but check out uh, everyone's comments. I'm curious to see what everybody comes up with on this, and I'll see you in the next one.